I've got a new lens today, just for today though. Let's test it out. Hello everybody, my name is Roma, and today we are going to test out the Canon 100mm f2.8 image stabilized L-series lens. Before I'm gonna start with the testing, let me just tell you that I'm not a professional photographer and I'm not a professional videographer. This is going to be a test for the average consumer like myself. With that being said, let's start. So first of all, let's start with the build quality, the first impressions of the build quality of the lens. Obviously, this is an L-series lens, so the build quality is pretty good. Um, I think that the lens is built out of plastic or some weird metallic material, maybe magnesium or something like this. Uh, fortunately, the mount is built out of metal, so that's good. And I see here also a rubber around the mount, so I think this lens is also weather sealed. The glass seems to be fine. I mean, I'm not a professional, so I don't really know these things, but it seems fine, seems pretty high quality, seems premium enough for me. Let's take a couple of shots and see how well it performs in video and also in photography, although I pretty suck at photography. So let's go. Wow, macro photography is so much fun. It's really fun. It's totally different from regular photography. It's really fun. So I took a couple of pictures. Let me know down below if you like them or not. And now I'm gonna start with the video tests. I'm gonna test the stabilization of this lens because this lens has image stabilization. I'm also gonna test out the autofocus of this lens and the overall quality. Let's start first with the image stabilization. I'm gonna film without image stabilization enabled on the lens and then with image stabilization. Let's start. Wow, from what I saw on the screen of the camera, the image stabilization makes a big difference, like a huge difference. The only flaw I found with the image stabilization is when I'm holding the camera like this, like I'm filming upwards, the image stabilization does not work as I'm filming like this for some reason. Maybe it's not working good when you film like that, but it's just a good thing to know. I don't know how many people shooting upwards, but if you are, know this before you buy this lens. Anyhow, let's start with the autofocus test. Let's see how this lens autofocus. Although I don't believe we'll have any problems with the dual pixel autofocus and a native Canon lens.
Okay, so, so far I am really enjoying this lens. The autofocus is really great, but as soon as you're going to the macro shots, to the real macro shots, the autofocus starts to hunt. But anyways, it's not really bothering me because in this type of situation, I'm gonna use manual focus to have a sharp picture anyway, so it's gonna work better for me in manual focusing. So far, I am really enjoying this lens. And the reason why I'm even thinking about buying this lens is because I want something for my product B-roll, to film B-roll for my reviews and stuff. And I think this one would be a great choice. I did a couple of tests of shooting my phone and some other small objects, and it was working really fine. But my battery, unfortunately, is dead on the camera. So I'm gonna come back home and go to my small little studio. And I'm also gonna take a couple of shots in low light and see how well it works in my studio with lights and with all my gear and all my equipment. So next time I'm gonna see you at home, we're gonna test out the low light and do some other product videography and see if this lens is for me. So far I really like it, but I need to go on the computer and see how the image quality is and how well it looks. So I'll see you next time at home. So I just came back home right now. It's already the night, the evening. I spent the whole day with this lens and I'm gonna do the final test, which is the most important one, at least for me. I'm gonna see how well this lens is gonna work for the product videography B-roll, for the reviews that I'm doing for the products. Because essentially this is the main reason why I want a lens like this, to have these extreme close-ups for the small products that I'm reviewing sometimes. And also sometimes I kind of want a telephoto lens for myself because I have only two lenses right now. This wide angle lens that I'm shooting with right now, the 10 to 18 millimeter. And I also have my beloved Sigma 18 to 35. So something like a hundred millimeter would work really great for my Canon kit. All right, enough talking. I'm gonna take some random gear that I have in my room and I'm gonna try to shoot cool B-roll with it. Uh, with this lens. So let's start. So I did a couple of product shots with this lens and I am super duper satisfied. I'm definitely gonna save a little bit of money for the next month or two and hopefully I'll be able to purchase it by then. I fell in love with this lens, seriously, I love it. It works really great for my needs, has stabilization, great autofocus, great macro, good image quality and it's really gonna work good for product reviews or product photography. It's gonna be amazing for that. I really, really love this lens. Anyhow guys, if you have some questions, comments, let me know down below. And sorry, I haven't done a low light test because I have a low battery and it's kinda late and I want to edit this video today because tomorrow I need to give this lens back. So sorry for no low light test, but I'm pretty sure it's gonna be really great in low light, especially if you have a full frame camera, it goes down to f2.8, so it's supposed to be pretty good in low light. I am really satisfied with the quality of this lens. Anyhow, again, questions, comments down below. Hope you enjoyed this video and found it informative, and I will see you in the next one. Peace out. Mm -hmm.